Green Print Partners is a company that's on a mission to ensure that infrastructure investments are just done better, that they're made in ways that are responsive to the communities that they serve. The difference between gray and green infrastructure is that green is nature-based, so it's actually attempting to use vegetation to mimic nature's processes to manage stormwater, and it's exciting because it has so many more benefits for the public than gray infrastructure does because it actually changes the face of neighborhoods. It's bringing more green space into communities that are overpaved. Green Pump largely partners directly with the public utility that is providing stormwater management services in a community. We partner with those utilities to help demonstrate how they can direct those investments into low-income communities and communities of color, whereas otherwise oftentimes those investments are not going to be specifically directed towards those communities. So we attempt to demonstrate how to do that and showing that it's possible. We are here at Hopewell Missionary Baptist Church. Hopewell is one of our fundamental partners in developing a green stormwater infrastructure project. I met April Mendez three and a half years ago. April shared with us the major problem that I didn't know about our sewer. We're on a hill, our educational building and our gymnasium is right at the top and where they come together and meet is a little low drainage piece, but it's only one drain. So when the tropical storms come, they can't process all that water. Our combined sewer system are sewers that take storm water along with wastewater in the same pipe. It's quite often a problem when we get too much rainwater, gets into the sewer and there's no capacity. And so it can flood the area, can cause water and wastewater to be in buildings. Greenprint fundamentally developed our model to anchor the way that infrastructure is designed in partnership with community. We engage the community at the very front end, talking to them about what this project is about, why it's necessary, what the stormwater problem is in the city that they're operating in, how they can be part of that solution, and then getting their clear priorities before we even start the design process. Now we spent a good number of months with the Joint Board of Deacons and Trustees and also allowing the congregation to come in and talk. They got excited about the beautification and making an improvement. Green infrastructure in a combined sewer system helps collect the stormwater where the rainwater lands before it gets into the combined sewer system. It allows it to soak into the soil and it, it holds it back so that the volume doesn't overwhelm the sewers. And so by using green infrastructure, we can reduce the amount of wastewater that overflows into the rivers and also we reduce the amount of wastewater that backs up into homes, into basements. We've developed $7 million worth of projects here. All of those properties are mission-driven organizations, churches, schools, nonprofit organizations that serve a community and they're able to then kind of educate people about the green stormwater infrastructure work that's happening and be part of the solution to water pollution across the city. We have identified over $6 billion in capital work that we need to construct over the next two decades. And we've already constructed over $2 billion worth of projects to address overflows to the environment from wet weather. The $1.2 trillion infrastructure bill can be a complete game changer for infrastructure across the United States, but that is a potential. It is not a reality. The most likely scenario is that the infrastructure investments that happen continue to be status quo infrastructure investments. Organizations like ours need to step into that breach in order to make it possible to redirect how those infrastructure projects are being conceptualized in the first place. I think in order to be a really effective bridge between public dollars and public good, you need to build trusted relationships with the communities that you're serving and be able to authentically bring those communities to the table. This can't just be more planning for planning's sake. It can't just be more community meetings for community meetings' sake. We actually need to get infrastructure put in the ground and done differently 